An immigrant is defined as a person who enters a country to settle in it permanently by choice. A refugee is defined as someone who flees to a country for safety. In our post-9-11 world, the plight of the refugee has become even more challenging, often leaving war-torn countries only to encounter a different kind of war in their adopted country. Met with fear, suspicion, and sometimes even violence, the integration process can be very long, very hard, and very challenging. So when does this individual become an accepted citizen of their adopted country? When does an Algerian become a Frenchman, a, an Iraqi, a Greek, or an Iranian, a Canadian? And how does the media, economics, and even culture play into either the building or the tearing apart of this process? Um, for. Uh... For the reason that I couldn't go back to my country, that time I was in Russia and after graduating from my medical school, I was working for the United Nations in Moscow and uh, for some political reasons, uh, I, came, I decided to just to move to a different country where I can live in a safe place. Well, I left Afghanistan in 92 after the civil war erupted in, in the capital city and uh, I took my family, my mother, my sisters and we just uh, left the city and then left the country. Actually, I came as a refugee claimant and because I had some trouble in my native country, Iran, and that's why I have to escape and come here as a refugee. You know, it's very hard it was for me when I leave my country, you know. Uh, but we have no choice. Uh, my brothers, they leave because they were soldiers and uh, uh, hard when I when I leave, you know. Uh, more hard it was for me when I stay in uh, in uh, Turkey, 25 days. It was like 25 years. The thing that many people they need to understand that immigrants they have many skills and they can contribute. I am doing a job which it has nothing to do with my past education, but I love that and all these things. And I went to learn about that job and do that job here. But in the same time, you still there are the times you are you feel you, you are being treated as a second degree citizen, or you think you don't belong, and not because of the what you do, because of the how other people look at you. Well, uh, as as an artist, as an intellectual, and as a person who has a very who had a very um, rich background in uh, uh, advocating for for multiculturalism, and I found um, Canada very attractive, and. Uh, Having those multiple problems, it, it's very hard to recover. And one of the hopes that I had, that I had at that time, was that I was accepted as a person. Doesn't matter which culture I belong to. We go in the Greek. It's illegal. Something normal when you know this thing happened. We we stay in jail almost one month. Then we go to buy boat, big boat, and to Greek to Athena. Uh, we stay in uh, jail over there in Alexander, uh, almost two weeks. Being 16 years in Canada, being a Canadian citizen, a proud Canadian citizen, but sometimes you feel other people still look at you as a refugee. The thing that many people they need to understand that immigrants, they have many skills and they can contribute. And, and, uh, and, uh, and the myth about this is, those immigrants, they can come and take. And actually, Canada has been built by immigrants. They were just different immigrants. As, a, as any other parent, I, I want them to be successful. Uh, I want them to, to serve the society and uh, bring benefits. Uh, all of my children are very artistic and they they are doing art, they are doing visual art, and I hope they will one day contribute to the society and to the global culture more than I'm doing right now. Yeah, for my children, I hope uh, uh, there are the certain values I hope they are uh, they're going to keep. And uh, again, uh, come from their Iranian or French or Canadian background. And I think uh, one of my hope is uh, they're proud of who they are, 
and they can define who they are, not other people define for them who they are. And, and I think it becomes very, uh, often very difficult for second generation immigrants to see who they are. It's uh, not easy when uh, we leave country, you know, it's, it's too hard, you know, and uh, uh, somebody asked me why you leave, uh, why you come here if you don't like, why you, but uh, you know, it's, we have no choice. The skills that immigrants they have are just uh, more than anything else you can imagine. They have the language, they have the life experience, they have the spirit of moving to different country and do something. Statistics shows that 85% of the Canadian economic growth have been based on the arrival of newcomers. Two-thirds of the newcomers are so-called minorities, but they still we're going to undervalue. And as long as undervalue the, their contribution or their what they bring here, we're going to undervalue their uh, contribution to Canada, to culture of Canada, to Canadian society, and to economy of Canada. Oh, oh.